Okay, here's another case of a Radex first. Just, you know, when you thought you saw it all, we got zip lines, we got all kinds of great ways to have fun. But this has got to be probably one of the most athletic, exciting uh, new events that I've seen. With me, I've got Brad and Hayden. You are with who? Gibbon Slacklines. Gibbon Slackline. Now, would you explain to us what we've been watching here and what's going on? Uh, Gibbon Slacklines is basically uh, just a sport of balance. Um, it's used to train kind of your core, quads, calves, knees, and ankles. Um, right now, what you're seeing behind us is just four lines set up, and it's kind of a free-for-all going on right now. Just kids are having fun. It's very addictive. Uh, I, I first saw it this summer. We're down, we have a lake uh, down at the base of the mountain, and um, we saw these guys set up a slack line on two trees, mm -hmm. and the people that came up, well, can we do that? I said, well, I don't, didn't see any rule in the book, so we can't do it. Let's try it. And it was pretty exciting. They were really pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. I hear, uh, you, can we uh, twist your arms? Can we get a little demo? Yeah, you can probably get a little demo. I'd All right. Um, it's kind of like you can liken it to a kind of a narrow trampoline. Uh -huh. uh, so anything you can do on the, on the ground, we're starting to figure out how to do on the line. Um, so when you want to start doing some of the more aerial stuff like that, um, that's what the jib line's for. It's called a knee drop right here. It's going into a foot plant. Um, and this is an enormous amount of strength. Yeah, it's great for your legs, great for your core. Obviously, to stay on the line, your core's got to be activated. So. I mean, this is such a core trainer. I mean, all sports, there's no sport virtually that, that yep. doesn't rely on strong abs. Pretty much it's anything a, you do, you know, the core is going to help a lot. Yep. Even from, you know, cycling, kayaking, exactly. trail running, just anything to do with balance or... It's going to be fun to watch this sport and actually see how uh, this sport progresses. But well, you know, in, in skiing, we've got the four basic skills with balance being the dominant one. Yep. And you cannot access any of your skills if you don't have that kind of balance. Exactly. Oh. Here he's doing an inward knee drop to a 180 spin. It's a very difficult move to do. I saw some guys in Yosemite, California when I was trying to hunt down some rock climbing, just floating in between a couple of trees, and I was so intrigued I had to go check out what it was. It turned out to be a couple of slackliners, and they pretty much just showed me the ropes, what we're doing here today, and ever since then I've been addicted. Are there any individual actually competitions now uh, with slackline or? Yeah, the World Championships are in Germany. They do a, that's where the, the company's from, um, and we do all our uh, events over there. Next year, we're starting to do a national circuit um, with the pro slackliners over here. Competitions are done head-to-head, -head, so you have a five to seven minute round with two people going head-to-head. -head. It's judged on a panel of old-school slackliners. It really goes for you know aerial tricks, yoga tricks, static moves how you connect the tricks with the music going on in the background. A lot of it's break dancing. You gonna do it? Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. Come on, you gotta do it. You I've gotta had, do it, I've you had, gotta do it. I've had five knee surgeries, <laughs> a few spine, and I ski 120 days a year, and I ain't doing nothing at this old age to <laughs> jeopardize that.